the limitation of the current testing, basically there are two different limitations. The first one is the fact that uh, each trial is testing a single genomic alteration. Because if trial is testing a single genomic alteration, uh, most of the patients become not eligible for targeted therapy. So if we come back to the, the illustration of FGFR1, when you make a genomic screening for FGFR1, you have more than 90% of the patient who became uh, ineligible for the targeted therapy because only 10% uh, of the patient present the genomic alteration. Mm -hmm. So because of that, we thought that it was important doing uh, screening for genomic alteration, but not only on a single genomic alteration, but on the, as many uh, genomic alteration as possible. And the goal will be that uh, when you have 100 patients, instead of identifying only 10% of patients with a genomic alteration, the goal would be to increase the number of patients who present a genomic alteration and then give a targeted therapy to as many patients as possible.